There were tears during the vetting of Interior CS nominee Kidure Kindiki. Samburu West lawmaker Naisula Lesuda broke down as she narrated how one person was killed this morning by bandits in Samburu with some of her staff missing. Professor Kidure Kindiki in response said that if his nomination was approved, then his first assignment would be to seek to have the bandits flushed out of the area as well as to establish round-the-clock security patrols to secure the north. Stephen Leto now reports. Perhaps you need to come and live in Kurkur, Pora. Tears seemingly of pain and raw emotions were part of the proceedings in the vetting of interior cabinet nominee Professor Kinthure Kindik in parliament as the cattle rustling reality filtered into the vetting room. Tuesday morning, bandits attacked Pura village in Samburu Central, killing one person and making away with an unknown number of livestock. <laughs> When will one life be too many to lose in the northern parts of this country? It should never be lost to us that at one point we lost over 42 police officers. The recent attacks finding their way into the vetting session. What do you intend to do differently? from your predecessors, away from the usual rhetoric and threats. Perhaps you need to come and live in Kurkur, Pora, Longewan, Losuk, incognito, for only one week. Come and stay there. That I will make whatever sacrifices that require to be made, I will stay focused until this problem is over. Even if it means Honorable Naisula coming to live in the North Rift. Not for a week, not for a month. We will stay there as long as it is necessary. Dick is saying it will not be business as usual, dealing with what has become an incessant problem. What strategy or are your thoughts do you have to end this menace once and for all so that as a leader I can execute my other national duties and not concern myself only on matters of security? I... I've been instructed subject to this approval process to make sure that we deal with banditry once and for all in the North Rift. Thousands of homesteads in the North have had their only source of livelihood swept away by the bandits who leave a trail of death and hundreds of widows in their wake. <laughs> The interior docket nominee says he will not allow the bandits to spit in government's face. Cattle rustling is rampant in the North Rift region, northeastern region, part of Tana River, and some sections of the coastal belt. They kill police officers, they kill civilians. When that culture permits, then the legitimacy of the state is at stake. Dickie says as the men in uniform move to secure the north, they will ensure utmost respect for human rights. There will be no extrajudicial killings, there will be no abuse of human rights, but we will do to criminals what needs to be done for them under both national and international law. Cattle wrestlers have turned the north into bandit territory, with the suspect taking advantage of the terrain to drive cattle away through deep valleys that are not accessible to security personnel. The bandits are so daring that in 2014, they staged a massacre and killed 40 police officers in Suguta Valley, Baragoy. Three weeks ago, 11 people, among them eight police officers, were killed in Namariat near Kaikitaitai village in Capedo, Nape Tom Ward, Turkana. What discussion are you going with a criminal who has stolen 100 cows from an innocent person and is hiding in a gorge? What is he doing in a gorge in the first place? So you flatten the gorge to start with. Then now you can, because what is he doing in a gorge with people's livestock? <laughs> 
Interior CS nominee also talking of enhanced capability and modernization of personnel careers, both land and air. Professor Kindiki said he will strengthen the counseling unit of the National Police Service to deal with stress among officers, work on a Kenya police and Kenya prisons hospital, as well as fight for overall welfare of security officials. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.